Hey guys, how's it going? Firebox here. There's been a lot of propaganda recently that Rogue is one of the weakest classes in the game, and I have set forth to prove it wrong. About two months ago on Reddit, I made a post talking about game balance, and underneath I made a comment talking about my Rogue. Now, Reddit loves to claim that their class is super weak, it's absolutely unplayable, I can't believe this class has not been buffed by Iron Mace. Now, I had mentioned that my rogue had been level 5 at the time, with a decent amount of gear, and I was doing pretty well. I did feel like starter rogue needed a stat boost. This was back when I think rogue starting strength was 6, and it just felt a little bit weak, but the class felt okay. And funnily enough, shortly after this comment, we did get an update from SDF himself, buffing not only strength, but vigor as well from 6 to 9, and their resourcefulness had been changed down from 25 to 20. Now, even though the resourcefulness was nerfed, this was a huge buff to starter kit rogue. Nine strength is significantly better than six. It makes it a lot easier to build out your kits. Now, I do want to make it clear that this video is focusing on solo rogue. I kind of felt like the intro and the PvP made that obvious, but before I get comments saying that the balance problem is trios, I just want you to know that I do see a lot of people specifically talking about solo rogue as well. Keep in mind that as far as I know, 50% of the player base is still playing solos, so it's a very large amount. And rogue is a very popularly played class, especially in solo play. Now, it's not only the Reddit. I've also noticed on Discord, I do see a lot of comments. Here's just a few of examples that I saw that I wanted to take a little snippet of. I see a lot of people talking about Rogue being weak, being bad, and I genuinely have a hard time understanding it. 
in my opinion, Rogue does really well at what they do, which is assassinating and or killing classes extremely quickly. A lot of times the Stiletto will kill in about two to three hits. Sometimes it'll take four, but I feel like most of my fights are very fast. There are the scenarios where it's a full PDR player, but because you have the armor penetration with daggers, and right now you can stack true damage to rip through that as well, I feel like Rogue is one of the strongest classes to play in solos. Now, interestingly enough, I think there are two big reasons that Rogue feels so strong to me personally. One is that the Stiletto Dagger has finally been fixed recently, just recently. Whenever you would swing the weapon, there was a very large chance that the weapon would just deal zero damage and you would get a hit registration bug or error and you wouldn't do anything. So it would result in a lot of deaths where you're sitting there kind of scratching your head going, huh, I didn't do any damage. What happened? Well, they finally fixed that. And not only does the stiletto kill extremely fast and you're swinging very fast because you have a high dexterity and agility on this class, but it also has access to one of the strongest skills in the entire game, being Cutthroat. Not only are there a lot of solo wizards out there right now, I didn't really see them in this video specifically, but before this, I do see them quite often. It's almost a free win button. If you can Cutthroat a wizard, it is almost a guaranteed kill, unless they're running the Staff Mastery, and they happen to hit you with enough damage to out-DPS you. But in theory, you should be killing them. And even if it's not, this has enough damage to kill almost every single class in the game. Again, the only real issue is big, beefy PDR fighter. But if you're running the dagger perk that gives 20% armor pen, and you're stacking at least a little bit of true damage, I think you should be able to kill them. But the great thing is, as a rogue, you have the choice to not fight those players. This is the thing that... You really don't get the option of when I play these PDR builds like PDR Cleric. When I play Cleric, I'm too slow to run away from other players. So if I come across a wizard, they can chase me to the ends of the caves. And there's nothing I can do about it. I have to just pray that I can either kill them or they get bored and leave. As a rogue, if you see a really juiced PDR fighter and you go, Huh, I don't think I can kill him. He cannot chase you. You can just walk away and shut doors and there's no chance for him to ever catch up to you it might be annoying maybe he's really persistent but he really shouldn't be killing you unless you're completely out of space but even so you can run through the storm which only does one damage a tick you can head to the extraction areas or you can go all the way around and try to find a different entrance back into the storm if he's camping that area now as far as cutthroat goes a lot of other classes are also very weak against this it deactivates a lot of different skills that are really, really important for fights. And if Rogue is catching you off guard, whether it be with Hide or with Rupture and they just happen to catch you in a doorway, it is going to be a really tough fight, man. It's true, Rogue does have base, lower vigor, lower strength than other classes do, such as Barbarian. But I'm telling you, the DPS the Stiletto does is very high. And the fact that you're basically getting a free skill on top of them having zero if you do hit them with cutthroat and whether it be the hide or the rupture with hide you're going to get that ambush damage which is great and with rupture you know you're just going to get a free 20 damage to kind of help you carry out that fight quicker because the quicker that they die the better off you're going to be rogue is really an assassin class right now trying to kill someone as fast as possible I decided to do this build specifically with only 4 true damage and pretty mediocre gear, to be honest with you. Even though my health was pretty high, a lot of that came from sacrificing my speed. I was running the padded leggings, which most people do not use. They go for the loose trousers. And I also sacrificed a lot of damage to try to get my health up a little bit higher than usual, which a lot of rogues will not do. And I think this seems like my preferred way of playing rogue. Even though my speed was only 103%, which for Rogue is pretty low, you can get easily 107% or higher when you're playing Rogue because of how high your base starts. I really did like having a little bit of tankiness behind me to have those 1v1s. I don't like 
playing the hit and run game all the time, but I did try to play Rogue a little bit smarter and more careful than I would other classes. There were times that I went for that 1v1 and decided to fight them straight. I tried to stay away from constantly kiting away with the hand crossbow and just taking fights that I felt were favorable to me. I think that's going to be enough yapping for today. I'm sure I'm going to see some negative comments of people trying to say that Rogue is still super weak in solos. If you think it's weak in trios, well, I'm right there with you. I agree. I think trio Rogue should be buffed. But for solos, I think it's a perfectly fine and quite strong class. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like. I would really appreciate it. So for future content. And I do want to thank Justin Dube, Trash Daddy, and Barty for supporting this video alongside my other members. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.